Fertility is one of the most fascinating and complex aspects of human biology. At its core, fertility refers to the natural capability to conceive a child, a process shaped by the intricate workings of the reproductive system. To understand fertility, it's essential to appreciate not only the anatomy and function of the male and female reproductive organs, but also the delicate interplay of hormones, timing, and environmental factors that allow for the creation of new life. Let's begin with the female reproductive system. The central organs involved are the ovaries, fallopian tubes, uterus, and vagina. Each of these components plays a crucial role in the journey from egg to embryo. The ovaries are two small almond-shaped organs located on either side of the uterus. Their primary function is to store and mature eggs, also known as ova. At birth, a female has all the eggs she will ever have, about one to two million. But by puberty, this number has decreased to around 300,000 to 400,000. However, only about 400 to 500 eggs will ever mature and be released during a woman's reproductive years. Every month, under the influence of hormones produced by the pituitary gland in the brain, one of the ovaries releases a mature egg in a process called ovulation. This typically occurs around the middle of the menstrual cycle, which is usually about 28 days long, but can vary widely from woman to woman. The egg is then swept into the nearby fallopian tube, a narrow passageway that connects the ovary to the uterus. Fertilization, the union of sperm and egg, most often takes place within this tube. Now, let's consider the male reproductive system. The primary organs are the testes, located in the scrotum, which produce both sperm and testosterone, the main male sex hormone. Sperm production begins at puberty and, unlike eggs in women, continues throughout a man's life. Though the quality and quantity can decrease with age and certain health factors, sperm are stored and matured in the epididymis, a coiled tube attached to each testis. During ejaculation, sperm travel through the vas deferens, mix with fluids from the seminal vesicles and prostate gland to form semen, and are expelled through the urethra. Fertilization is a race and a miracle of biology. During intercourse, millions of sperm are deposited in the vagina, but only a few hundred will make the arduous journey through the cervix and into the uterus, guided by the chemical signals and contractions of the female reproductive tract. Eventually, only one sperm manages to penetrate the egg's outer membrane in the fallopian tube, fusing its genetic material with that of the egg. This creates a zygote, the first cell of a new individual. The zygote begins dividing rapidly, forming a cluster of cells as it travels down the fallopian tube toward the uterus. After about five days, it becomes a blastocyst and implants itself into the nutrient-rich lining of the uterus, known as the endometrium. If implantation is successful, pregnancy begins and the body starts producing hormones to support the developing embryo. The entire process of conception depends on a harmonious balance of hormones. In women, the menstrual cycle is governed by a complex feedback loop involving the hypothalamus, pituitary gland, and ovaries. The hypothalamus releases gonadotropin-releasing hormone, GnRH, prompting the pituitary gland to secrete follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH, and luteinizing hormone, LH. FSH stimulates the growth of ovarian follicles, each containing an immature egg, while a surge in LH triggers ovulation. The empty follicle then becomes the corpus luteum, which produces progesterone to prepare the uterine lining for a possible pregnancy. In men, the hypothalamus and pituitary gland also play a regulatory role. The pituitary secretes FSH and luteinizing hormone, which stimulate the testes to produce sperm and testosterone, respectively. Testosterone is vital for the development of male secondary sexual characteristics and the maintenance of libido and sperm production. Many factors can affect fertility. Age is one of the most significant. Female fertility declines steadily from the late 20s onward, with a more rapid decrease after age 35. This is partly due to a reduction in both the quantity and quality of eggs. Male fertility also decreases with age, though the effect is generally less pronounced. Health conditions such as polycystic ovary syndrome, 
PCOS, endometriosis, and low sperm count can impact fertility, as can lifestyle factors like smoking, obesity, excessive alcohol use, and high levels of stress. Environmental influences also play a role. Exposure to certain chemicals, radiation, or even excessive heat can impair reproductive function in both men and women. Nutrition, exercise, and overall health are important contributors to the optimal functioning of the reproductive system. Understanding one's fertility can be empowering. For those trying to conceive, tracking the menstrual cycle to identify the fertile window. The days when intercourse is most likely to result in pregnancy can be helpful. This window usually spans about six days, ending on the day of ovulation. Various methods, including monitoring basal body temperature, cervical mucus, and ovulation predictor kits can assist in pinpointing this time frame. For those seeking to avoid pregnancy, understanding fertility is equally crucial. Natural family planning methods rely on recognizing the signs of fertility to abstain from intercourse or use protection during the most fertile days of the cycle. Fertility is not just a matter of biology. It also encompasses emotional, psychological, and social dimensions. The journey to parenthood can be straightforward for some, while others may face challenges that require medical intervention or support. Advances in reproductive medicine, such as in vitro fertilization, IVF, intrauterine insemination, IUI, and fertility preservation techniques offer hope to many who struggle to conceive. Ultimately, the reproductive system is a marvel of nature, finely tuned to enable the continuation of our species. By understanding how fertility works, how eggs and sperm are produced, how they meet, and how life begins, we gain a deeper appreciation for the interconnectedness of our bodies and the remarkable processes that shape our existence. Whether the goal is to start a family, maintain reproductive health, or simply satisfy curiosity, knowledge is the first step toward informed choices in a healthy future.